Hello, this is Chuck Carvin. I'm the Chuck in the Markets Up, Chuck. And uh, today's blog was titled, You Gotta Eat. And, um, you know, during, um, as we've gone through this last recession, there were a couple of names that actually went through the recession quite well, several names, actually. And I don't think people really realize that. And um, um, two, I'm going to show two today that are in the restaurant business, the fast food restaurant business, Yum Brands. And, of course, I think many of you um, will know this company or recognize this company. They have, of course, the Pizza Hut and the Taco Bell and the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, but they also have several other franchises that they've expanded to. They originally spun off from Kraft. But what I want you to notice, when you look at the earnings since 2001, which was the last recession, they did have a down year in the first year. But look how consistent their earnings growth has been. And this light blue shaded area represents dividends. And the company started paying a dividend, <coughs> as you can see, in 2004. And that dividend has grown very nicely. Um, the company's long-term growth rate has been 10%. The light blue shaded area represents the dividends that are paid out of earnings. As you can see, $100,000 dollar investment in, in Yum Brands on January 31st, 2001 would have grown to 377000 That's a 16.2% compounded rate of return during a period where the market um, actually lost to minus 2.4%. I do want you to notice that a lot of that return comes from the fact that the stock was undervalued. It was below its earnings line, and it's ended you know, pretty much in value during this period, but it's had 10% growth and pays a 2.5% dividend. One caveat, when you're doing your research on this company, if you choose to look at it, I do want you to pay attention to the debt, which is very typical for a company that's recently been spun off. And as I mentioned, this company was spun off from Kraft, um, you know, not too long ago. The next example I want to show, of course, is maybe it's, more, it's the most famous fast food restaurant of all, um, which, of course, is McDonald's Corporation. And McDonald's, um, like Yum Brands, went through the recession, both recessions pretty well, went through the last recession extremely well. It's actually grown at 11.5%. Now, it was a little more, started the period a little more overvalued, but I want to point out a couple of things. It's paid a dividend for a longer period of time. It's yielding 3.6% currently. That's more than a 10-year treasury bond. Uh, the stock is undervalued based on its, you know, history. you can see any time you would have bought McDonald's when it was below the green earnings line. That was, you know, always a very attractive time to be buying the stock. $100,000 in McDonald's. On January 31st, 2001, remember the point of valuation, would have grown to 209000 That's an 8.7% rate of return uh, during a period of compounded, during a period where the S&P would have lost 2.4% compounded. Um, add in dividends, and you get a double-digit return from only McDonald's since, since the last recession, going through the last two recessions. Um, and today, I think the important thing is you can buy this company with a 3.6% dividend yield. It is forecast to continue to grow at 9% or better. That's probably a little bit you know, um, maybe understated in my view. The company has um, a very, you know, attractive debt to equity ratio, generates strong cash flows, and, um, you know, is poised to, um, um, to grow going forward. Again, as I always recommend, do your own research. But here's two examples of companies that pay a decent dividend. Uh, they're well known. They're kind of recession resistant, if not recession proof. Um, and the two that you might want to take a look at is Chuck Carnival saying thanks for listening. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.